All right, welcome to Beast Athletes, AKA Muscleville. We're covering powerlifting versus bodybuilding, your strength training versus hypertrophy training. Look at those, the guns, Muscleville. Muscle bound to be muscle bound. Okay, all right, sumptuous llama corns. We're gonna talk about this. A lot of people don't understand this. So we're gonna use Bob and Stan. Bob and Stan are both 160 pounds. The average person, when they first walk into the gym, let's say Bob and Stan are average people that haven't worked out. When they first go in to lift, they're gonna use between 30 and 40% of their actual muscular capacity. We'll just say 30% for now. Make this simple, let's say they bench 50 pounds, okay? The difference between a bodybuilding style approach and a powerlifting style approach is gonna be very different because it's gonna dictate your set and rep ranges. One is gonna apply specifically to certain things with weight classes and one will not when you're not set in a weight class. All right, so very important for you llama corns out here. If Stan wants to increase his bench, the bodybuilding approach is, oh, who weighs 160 pounds, he's using 30% of his muscular capacity, we want it to go to 100 pounds. Why don't we just bulk up Stan here to 245, he has more muscle to pull from, and now he can lift 100 pounds. What didn't change is his actual learned strength, his actual ability to contract more muscle fibers. He just gained the muscle. Nothing wrong with that. You're gonna look better, you increase overall amount of size, that is hypertrophy. And you're gonna be working with sets that are longer, with rep ranges that are longer. We're talking like 15 to 50 reps, like lots of reps. We're going for absolute failure. We're trying to get hypertrophy. We're going until you've completely broken down that muscle to get it bigger, okay? Now, your powerlifting style is gonna be a little bit different. And this is what I like for weight specific things. Okay, so like me, I'm limited to a weight class. I have stayed at my same weight, but increased my deadlift from 405 to 500, my bench from 205 to 285, my squat from 315 to 375, not because I gain mass. The powerlifting approach is Stan down here. He stays at 160 pounds, okay? They both lift the same. Him, after a year of powerlifting, is now lifting more than Bob. Why? Because he is now using 60 percent of the muscular capacity he already had and that is called it's a magical word i mentioned it earlier but i'm gonna write it down and build the suspense this is kind of fun Ta-da! learned strength this is why you'll have people on the news that'll go and lift a car right to save their child no they're not possessed by spirits all of you crazy llama corns out there they had the capacity to lift the car in the first place what they did is in the moment, they went past what their body originally had done and had moved it and engaged full muscular capacity. And they moved it from let's say 30 to 60% or 30 to 80% in order to lift that very heavy object. So the point of power lifting is that you stay at your same weight. So now Stan over here, he comes into the gym at 160 pounds and he pulls like a 225 deadlift and his buddy over here power lifts and they're at the same weight and he pulls 500 on his deadlift because he's using like 80% of his muscle fibers because he's a sumptuous llama corn over here pulling weight and he's going to be working like three to five reps max. When I go to go power lift, I might deadlift and my entire workout's 15 reps, like literally 15 reps. That's a lot of reps. 15 reps? Yeah. That's a lot. For that's Donnie, that's a lot. For, <laughs> 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 for the power lifter, more than 15 reps is cardio. 15 reps for a whole workout? <laughs> so the idea is, is you're working the overall amount of contraction of the single muscle fiber versus adding more muscle fibers. Now, you might be saying, Taylor, okay, it's like your whiteboard, cut to the chase, how is this helpful for me? Okay, here's the answer. When you're trying to get stronger at the same weight, this becomes beneficial. Because now, me as a boxer, 175, my weight class, light heavyweight, I don't care if someone is taking steroids, I don't care if they're bigger than me, I don't care if they're supposedly stronger than me, because they're not. I have engaged more, I might be at 60 or 80% of muscular contraction, so I am stronger at the same weight. So for you and your sport, you can stay at your same weight, but still increase strength. Now yes, you might want to take a bodybuilding approach and gain muscle, very important. They both are important. But for us, staying in that three to five rep range and focusing on explosiveness, that is your strength training approach in powerlifting. You're welcome, llama corns. So you're telling me that 
you don't have to get huge to get stronger. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh my God, it's like I've gained like 600 pounds on my total since I started powerlifting and I've only gained like four pounds. It's crazy, right? It's almost like this works and is backed by science, by other llama corns. It's insane. Probably doesn't work. Probably doesn't work, except for everyone here at Beast Athletes, aka Muscle Donnie. Girl, is making it happen. So I guess we just defy science and the rest of the other llama Donnie. corns. Crazy, huh? We just have a bunch of world records here. It's not a big deal. Just some world record holders. World champs. We set national. people world championships, state, state records, national records. People, top, it's like we almost know. the world? It's almost like we know what we're talking about. National champions in Taekwondo, state champions in boxing. Multiple professional athletes. Multi-sport professional athletes. Donnie. 